the magic of the holiday season. Yay. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing my last unboxing of tarantulas for this year. I ordered myself some pretty exciting things because it's the end of 2020. Let's take this year out with a bang and like actually like a literal bang because I ordered something that I might regret, but I felt like it was time. I thought about it. I pondered. I really dug into my soul and decided if I wanted to get this tarantula and I decided that I did. So I have this box here. I'm going to open it up and show you what I got. Um, I also was told that there was a surprise for me, so I'm really excited about that. I got this box from Micro Wilderness, which is run by Nate, who's really awesome. and He's helped me out with my collection a lot, so I really appreciate it. But anyways, let's get in here. Let me show you the tarantula that I still kind of can't believe that I got because you'll see you'll see okay let's go okay so there's four four little cups in here and let's go the first one i see is the oh pp pp pumpkin patch i did order another pumpkin patch oh he's so little <laughs> i don't know if you can see him so small oh my god i'm so excited because for some reason, I never really got these in my collection. I have another one for my own. I have one that I actually got from Nate a couple weeks ago. So now it will have a friend. And by friend, I don't mean they're gonna go together. Next up, this is the, oh, Rocky Palma Verdezzi. I totally for oh, it's it's a good size. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't have one of these. Oh my god, he's a plump little guy. I don't know if you can see. It's right here, kind of at the top. So this is the Brachypelma Verdezzi. I'm pretty excited because I do not have a lot of Brachypelma in my... My cat just tried to grab it out of my hand. This is Fleur. Fleur, go away! So this is giving me my third Brachypelma and I'm pretty excited to have it. Um, yeah, these guys are, I feel like I don't hear a lot about them, so yay! And then, I don't know what I should show you next. I'll show you the gift. Oh my god. I'm really excited for this gift! I need one of these. I kind of can't believe I don't have one. Fleur! Everyone talks about these guys, and they're so beautiful, and I'm so happy to finally have one. And that is the Green Bottle Blue GBB or uh, Cyan. And I don't know how to pronounce the scientific name. I'm a failure. I'm a failure as a tarantula keeper. He is so ready to come out of the container. Oh my gosh. That was such a nice gift. Like, honestly, I'm so happy. And then, now the moment of truth. This is the tarantula that I debated on getting and I've put off for a while, but oh, I'm so scared to open this one up. But I decided that it was time to add one to my collection so that I can have the experience and also because this tarantula is my favorite color. Well, let me tell you, because this tarantula is the OBT, which is the orange baboon tarantula, also known as the orange bitey thing, also known as the spawn of Satan. So I finally have one and it's a little sling. He's actually bigger than I thought he was going to be. I'm so excited to finally have one of these. They are orange and I love orange if you can't tell by my hair. Orange is my favorite color and I would love to have a beautiful striking orange bright cool, crazy, spunky tarantula in my collection. So here we go. My wish has been granted. Although right now it looks kind of black, dark blue, not orange yet. Okay, so I'm really excited to open these guys up and with my luck, they will probably go running around and crawling up my arms and acting crazy. So if you're here to watch me suffer, then you've come to the right place because I'm gonna get these babies out of their containers and into their enclosures and it just, 
these things never go smooth for me so I'm gonna get the enclosures ready and then I will be back and we will kind of like this and then we'll we'll um open them on up yeah so I have changed into some comfortable clothes I put my hair up because if I know anything about me and my luck with tarantulas and unboxing them we will probably have some mishaps so I think I'm gonna try using this box to unbox them in so if they run it won't be so bad small catch cup is on hand paintbrush is on hand tongs are on hand and we're ready to do the thing I think I'm gonna start off with one that I know will be easy-ish and that will be the pumpkin patch because I'm not too worried about that one getting away from me. So yeah, I have this enclosure ready. I have the cocoa fiber substrate, a little leaf to hide under and a tiny water dish. So Flora, can you move? Okay, so here we go. Where's the tarantula? There it is. I'm gonna remove Oh, he's on the... So here's the tarantula. Here? Can you see? So here's my little tiny baby. So cute and small. I hope you can see. So precious. Oh my god, you're so small. So this is a pumpkin patch, Hapalopius species Columbia large. Going for a little walk on my hand. Hope you can see. Very cute. Now let's get him into the enclosure. Oh my god. <laughs> no, stay in. Stay in. Yeah, so that went really well. We'll just move back. I don't want to close your little legs in. Okay, one down. Cool, so that was successful. I think I might do the GBB next because I feel like it's the most ready to come out. So here is the enclosure. I feel like it's just going to come right out. Here's the tarantula. There you go, buddy. You're free. No, 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 no. There's a good look at the tarantula. So here he is. That's my green bottle blue. This is my gift from Nate. I'm so grateful because look how cute and precious this one is. Oh my god, I could not be any happier. Like, I'm just in love. Oh my god, you're so cute. Okay. Now, if you'll just go into your enclosure. No! <sighs> Second time, I've tried to get the spider into the enclosure. He's up here now. Come on, go in here. Yes, this is a great stroll. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now this time you're gonna go into the enclosure and you're gonna stay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, then the enclosures are over here. Yay, I'm so excited. That went really well. Next, I think I'm gonna do the Brachy Palma Verdesi. This one should be pretty easy as well. I have this enclosure set up for this guy. Okay, let's go. Let's check it out. Here is the spider. I don't know if you can see. This is the Brachypelma verdesi. This one's looking really shy. So I'm gonna be really gentle. So here's this one. It's kind of stuck to a little piece of 
moss, but this is the Bracky Palma Verdesi. Super cute little sling, has plump little booty on him already. I'm really excited to see this one grow. Cute. All right, so here's this one in the enclosure. Yay. And now last but not least, the one I am really scared for is the OBT. I have this enclosure for the OBT. Um, I'm really nervous because I have never rehoused an old world tarantula before. So I'm hoping that we don't have a crazy disaster. I just literally lifted the lid and it's ready to bolt. Here is the tarantula right here. Can you see? That is my little OBT. <sighs> I'm nervous. I don't want to poke him because I feel like he's going to run. I'm going to like close the lid gently. <gasps> oh my God, he's bolting around. <gasps> he's going back in. No. Where is it? I saw it go in. Oh my god, what the heck? Pretty sure. I literally don't see it. It's in here, right? Like, did you see it go in? I'm a wimp. I'm a wimp. I'm a wimp. Well, anyways, I feel like that was like a 5 out of 10 on the excitement scale. It went pretty well, and I know I was really cautious with the OBT, but that's just because I have no experience with it. And if you are getting an animal that you are going into with no, no experience and it's going to be your first time, always proceed with caution because you never know. Like if a sling, especially if you're unboxing a sling, if they are going to go running for the hills and, um... You might never find him again. He was tiny, and so, you know, I was careful. I don't regret it. But anyways, overall, I'm so excited with all my new babies. I absolutely love my new GBB, Green Bottle Blue, and I love my teeny tiny pumpkin patch. And I love my little Verdezzi, too. She's still on the top of her leaf. I'm so excited to have my last unboxing of 2020. I'm ready for the new year. I am so excited for what is to come. I'm so enjoying making content and if you enjoy, let me know. Um, I appreciate everyone who watches all my videos and everyone who has subscribed and left comments and interacted with me. You have made my life and I super appreciate you. Anyways, have an amazing day. Make sure to say hello to a spider. And share this video with your friends, your family, your co-workers, even your enemies. That is fine too. Honestly, I will take whatever I can get. But remember, I appreciate you and all my little buddies do too. We'll see you next time and OBT power activate.